24. Based on the model, what is the velocity in kilometers per second of a galaxy that is 15 megaparsecs from Earth? We look at our table here, our figure, and we see that the megaparsecs only go up to 2.5. So 15 would be like over here. Maybe that's where 15 would be. So what we have to realize is that we have to extrapolate, whoops, extrapolate the data based on the trend presented here. So one way to think about this is there's a best fit line that you could draw that could represent this data. So maybe it would look, I don't know, something like that. And if I extended this line and I kept going, right, I would eventually get to the point where the X value or the distance value would be 15. And then I could find the measure of the velocity value by reading the value of the line in the Y axis, which would be obviously much higher than 1500. So right away, you might get an idea that we can get rid of C and D because 1100 and 750 for velocity are both on the graph and they're, they're, they're nowhere even close to the distance we need. So at the very least, we can get down to A and B. It might be a bit hard to extrapolate from here to determine whether it would be 7,500 or 5,000. You might guess since it's so far away, it might be 7,500. But the other way to think about this, and probably the better way to do it, is to realize they gave us the, the equation. Essentially, they gave us the line of best fit. It's V equals 500D. So since we know that D is 15, we can just plug that in to V equals 500D and see what we get for V. So 500 times 15. And when you do that, you'll see you get 7,500. So choice A. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.